The numbers tell part of the story. 1,250 feet above the ground, views stretching 50 miles on a clear day. Almost a decade of rebuilding. And yet once you're up here, even on a cloudy day, those numbers give way to feelings which are, quite frankly, difficult to describe. The rumor has it that when it's clear, you can see the curvature of the Earth from this point. And it's certainly true that you can feel the weight of recent history. The construction of this building and the observatory are a fist pump for going forward, for moving forward, for saying there is a future and we embrace it. Dave Checkets is the man in charge of the day-to-day -day running of the observatory. Architect T.J. Gottesdina helped design the structure itself. It pulls at you. When you're up there and you start, you look down, you can see the memorial, you, you have that sense of remembrance. It's not just about the views. The 47-second elevator ride comes complete with a 500-year time-lapse of New York's skyline. And now you get a brief view of the World Trade Center on this side just for just a moment. And then it disappears. And then the view itself is revealed gradually behind automatic screens. In a city crowded with skyscrapers, One World Trade Center has serious competition. How many visitors a year? Uh, last year we had 4.3 million. The Empire State Building's observatory brought in revenues of 111 million last year. New York City is represented to so many people in the world by the Empire State Building. Few would dispute One World Trade Center now shares that status. And with a predicted 3.8 million visitors a year to the observatory, it could well match that success. For those involved in the project, though, it already has. When I walk by the building now, it feels right. And do you think when people stand and, and look from the 100th floor out, they'll get the same feeling? I think they'll, they'll have a very powerful feeling. Yes, I do. I think they'll feel like this was the right thing. Sebastian, CNN, New York.